In previous videos we've looked at three different types of rock. We've looked at igneous, metamorphic and sedimentary. This video is about the rock cycle which links all three types of rock. This diagram shows just part of the rock cycle. It shows igneous, metamorphic and sedimentary rock being weathered or eroded into sediment which is small pieces of rock and this might sound familiar to you because in the video on sedimentary rocks we describe this process in the formation of sedimentary rock. When we looked at this in more detail we said that erosion was made up of weathering and transportation so large rocks breaking up into small pieces called sediment and those sediments are moved away by wind or water for example. Now these large rocks like you've just seen in the rock cycle don't have to be sedimentary rocks they could have started off as igneous or metamorphic rocks and then those sediments are deposited as layers at the bottom of the ocean. So now to bring in the next stage of the rock cycle this sediment can then be compacted and cemented to form sedimentary rock and we looked at those stages in a previous video. We said that compaction was the weight of the sediments and the water above squashing the sediment together and we said cementation was the layers of sediments sticking together to form sedimentary rock. So, so far this part of the rock cycle is all to do with how rocks can break down into sediment and form sedimentary rock. But rocks all form part of a cycle. They might not stay as a sedimentary rock forever because under the conditions of heat and pressure sedimentary rock can turn into metamorphic rock. Now that metamorphic rock of course could then undergo weathering, turn into sediment and turn back into a sedimentary rock and you can see that little cycle that could take place just there. Similarly if the igneous rock didn't undergo weathering it could well undergo heat and pressure and heat and pressure conditions for igneous rock will again make a metamorphic rock. That metamorphic rock may well melt down to form magma which we find inside the volcano and if this rock has melted down to form magma it can of course now cool down to form igneous rock again. So again we've got another mini cycle here whereby metamorphic rock can melt into magma, cool down to igneous rock and that can perhaps change back under heat and pressure into metamorphic rock. So there's all these changing cycles within the rock cycle, it's not just one big cycle, there's many different loops that these different rock types can take. So something might not stay in igneous rock forever, it might weather and turn into sedimentary rock, it might go under heat and pressure to turn into a metamorphic rock. So this is what the rock cycle is describing, the changes in these rocks and this will take hundreds of thousands if not millions of years. So if we put all these ideas together for the rock cycle we first of all start off with weathering and this could be weathering of igneous, metamorphic or sedimentary rocks and that would form sediment which is small pieces of rock which can then be transported perhaps by wind or by river and that brings in the transportation process. Those sediments are then deposited, so we've got deposition at for example the bottom of the ocean and then compaction and cementation would follow to produce our sedimentary rock. And if the sedimentary rock comes under the conditions of heat and pressure it could turn into metamorphic rock. That metamorphic rock could melt turning into magma which could then cool and perhaps if it was in the chamber here form intrusive igneous rock or it could leave as lava and form extrusive igneous rock. The intrusive igneous rock here could undergo heat and pressure 
and turn back into metamorphic rock. Or the extrusive igneous rock subject to weathering could start off the cycle again and turn into sediment, be transported and so on and so on. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.